Hello everyone, welcome back. It's time for episode 3 uh, for Gonzo Rivera's little leveling trip in this Let's Play video. Uh, we have left off in a couple of places, but I think the last time we spoke I said I was going to let you know when I've reached the adventure quest. Uh, the adventure exam, I should say. And so I did quite a few quests. Um, I shouldn't say quite a few, like three or four. It's really all it took to get to the level of fame needed to get the adventure quest to spawn. So I went to take a quest and it came up as an option. Um, you won't see it here because I've already kind of accepted it, but I'll show you the quest in the quest log. And there it is. It says, we will now begin the final exam for the beginner's adventurer course. This is your indicator that you have found a quest in which that is considered an exam. Um, there are three stages, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and the beginner's is the first one. Really easy to do. You get the quest from the uh, mediator, and you should, there's probably multiple options of the beginner course, I'm not entirely sure, but each one is really simple to get. Um, you do need some skills to do them, and it shows you here the skills that are required. And since this one showed me a skill in which I didn't have, I wanted to show you what to do in the case that you don't have the skill. So, the ecological research is the required skill, and it says I need a level 1. So it just means I need to go get the introductory skill. So if you don't know where to find your skill, where to get it from, you go to your skills tab, you go to Adventure Trader Battle, depending on the quest that it's in, or category it's in. So this is an adventure skill, and it's an ecology quest. And boom, ecological research. It says I can get it at, and you click here, location, and it says I can get it in Seville. Which is good, I can get it from the Adventure GM right in Seville. And it looks like I can get it in Venice or London too, so if you're in France or Netherlands, you might have to go to those places to get it. Alright, so... That looks like that's going to be our main quest line for the day. And I wanted to show you this. I don't think I have any other quests at the moment. Nope, just the adventure quest today, guys. So let's take a look on how to get the ecological skill. And as well as getting the quest done. So before we leave, let's top off on some vigor. And I'm going to reduce that fatigue bar, which is the spot underneath the sailors. Just say, treat sailors drink and it should go away <clears throat> all right we are on our way another thing I did while we were all uh, out uh, and it's just so I could you know get some quests done is I also I had some quests that took me to uh, Genoa in on the western on the eastern side of the Mediterranean and so because of that I uh, got the ports along the way. I think I've gotten majority of the ports. You'll see it here when I go to set sail and auto nav. I got a bunch of these ports along the way. Can't go any further here. Uh, you can tell because the arrows here are shaded gray and you can't navigate away from these ports. So I got the ports all along this way here. Um, I might have missed a couple in, on the northern end of Africa, but the reason why is because those cities require disguises for you to get into and I have uh, very little disguise at the moment that I believe. I don't think I might be able to get in one or two of the cities. Obviously, the real test is try to get in. If you can't get in, then you need a higher disguise, and then you'll need to buy a, uh item that you can wear that will increase your disguise. And I believe there's got to be one major city where you can get them from along the way or one of these these towns because how else can you get in them if you can't get that uh, particular... Uh, gear so they're along the way here somewhere but I can get those exact details for you in a comment section uh, and remind me to tell you about it alright so we're gonna go to Seville people are probably gonna say why are you doing auto nav but that's just because I'm lazy and this early on with these smaller ships it just is a slow grind sailing alright use my three skills so I can level them up oh you're also probably wondering what this is here um, it is a tarot card, and tarot cards you can get from some of the major people that you hand in discoveries to, which I will show you uh, what I mean by handing in discoveries. Uh, if I haven't already, I will show you again to remind you. But in your discoveries tab, 
you will see things in which that you have discovered. I have one discovered treasure and none reported, unreported because I've done that. But I have 17 discovered ports, six unreported of them. And this means I could show here they are, the ones that are blue, I believe the ones I haven't uh, shown in yet. And they're discovery cards and I'm going to go ahead and report them to the proper person. Now port settlements I know that if you're in Spain, you know I know where you can submit them. You could submit them to uh, a guy who is got a house in Seville, I believe is Pires, Pires or Pires. Don't know how to pronounce. Um, estate. You're going to go there, talk to him, to and report your discovery, and he'll give you a QMP and some fame for handling in these port discoveries. Uh, you could also go to Genoa and hand into Duchess Traedo. She uh, also has, I believe, tarot cards, so she's not a bad place to go to to get a tarot card to give you these boosts. And that's why this brought it up, because if you're noticing this tarot card, it gives you a boost in the game. And if you want to know exactly what the boost is, you can Google it and uh, just type in, you know, the devil tarot card UWO, and you'll get your response. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You might hear them game music die out for a minute while I type this in. I'll type in UWO the devil tarot card and Google should bring you right to it uh, my computer is really slow tarot cards unofficial I'm using the wiki here monochartedwaters.com sorry, dot fandom.com slash wiki and tarot cards and I'll just look for the devil and they show you the picture it's a curse at C and it says increases fatigue increase rate so sometimes there are uh, bad tarot cards and fortunately I got the bad one well that's okay it's only a minor thing it increases the fatigue rate oh epic sea feud here so this is some part of the game that you can do later on if you would like. Um, it's a large scale sea battle where you could pride your affiliated nation on the line. Um, revolving around the voted target city and takes place every month. Key to winning. Players all participate and so on. If you want to know more about this I'm sure you can find information on YouTube about it. I've never participated but I hear there's some bonuses to participate. Um, if you want to participate you can go to uh, the Adventure GM, I believe. No, maybe not. I don't know. That's what it seems to be showing here. By talking with the Maritime Guildmaster and clicking on the Epic Sea Feud info. And you should get rewards when you do it. Alright, so we're done here. We go. We need to go to. I don't know which location, but we do need to stop into Seville. To first, I'm going to show you how to do these discoveries. Oh no, I lied. His name is not Pyrrhus. Not Tom Pyrrhus. Duke Farness, that's the guy. So you want to go to Duke Farness's place. I know there's a Pyrrhus in here, that's why I thought of it. Pyrrhus might be a different kind of discovery you got to report to, but when it comes to port settlements, Duke Farness is the guy you go to. So we're going to head there. Oops. Come on. Alright, so Duke Farness, he's the guy we're going to head to. When you hand it into him, you'll get those QMPs, which are always good to have for when you want to reset your quests in case you're looking for a particular kind of quest. Let's say you didn't like this adventure exam because it had a skill you don't have, you could reset it with a QMP until you get the right one that works for your skill set. So let's just drop this off here. Port settlement. Hit OK. And then click each one and click OK. And boom, you'll get 19 adventures to fame, some social ability skill, and a QMP. And I'm just going to do that for all of them until they're all done. Hand it in and this will all catch up. Sometimes you got to come here with a massive amount and this will just keep on going. And that's that. You can also forget skills if you don't need to have any skills here. Does he teach me any skills? Let's see. Archaeology and English. Okay, so if I needed archaeology for a quest, I can get it here. Uh, theology too, but you need one level archaeology so you can learn this and then that. 
and English. I've never done archaeology or theology. I've only really ever done geography. Um, and I'm getting ecology here too. Ecology is pretty easy. It's very along the same lines of geography and the way that you go about finding the discoveries. So we're going to go back to the Adventure Guild so we can get theology. Uh, Adventure Guild. Stop inside. See the Adventure GM. Double click. Oh, forgot to mention to this earlier at the guild. Not only can you get errands and change jobs, but you can also acquire skills. Do you have any questions? So I think he's telling me this because I have this quest nine, and he says, this is why I said you can either answer these things. He's like, I don't have any questions. So if you have any questions that I don't answer, go ahead and click that, and he'll explain some things. So we're gonna double click him. We're gonna get our skill. Oh look, he's got the. I'm gonna. Some of these skills are good to just have, especially for for adventuring. Just early on, it's really not that important. Observe. I don't know. I have the item that gives me observe skill. Where is it? I'll go to inventory. It's this, the perception of artisan. So until we run out of those, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to get the skill for it. Geography might also be good to have early on, but again, we're going to save the skill slots because I don't have many. And as you level up, every 10 levels, I think, you get a get a skill slot? I don't know. I mean, I have four skill slots. I could probably easily learn more, but I don't want to I don't want to overdo it. I want to hold on to my skills for the meantime. So if I ever need geography, then I'll go get geography. But right now, um, I think I'm just going to keep... Here's that epic sea feud button. Yeah, it'll show you what the aggressor is, the defending nations are, when it's going to be. It's going to be on the 11th, which is in about five days, and all this. So if you're really interested in playing that, which even at a low level there might be some real benefit to playing I just never have done it and I could be just losing out on a lot of really good um, experience and, and items but I just I'm so busy in this game doing so many other things I don't even remember to participate alright so we've got the skill we need let us address on how we need to complete this quest so now we're gonna read the quest itself now notice that the ecological research number is no longer red it's white that means that we now have the skill it says, once you have completed this exam, you'll have completed the exam completely. For this exam, you'll need the ecological research skill, but which you can use a fishing net, a shops and sagers, learn our skill, and have the item ready to go to speak. Don't know that we need... Do we need recognition? That's another question. Or search. I think we have search already. Yeah, search is what you need, I believe, to find... Uh, stuff, ecological research. Well, you know, lessons can be learned here if we participate and we can't do this, but just for the sake of it, I like having recognition as a skill early on because there's a lot of stuff that you could miss out on. So let's go find out where we can get recognition. Oh, Lisbon. Crud, we were just there. Let's just go get it. I like to have it early on, especially we're probably going to need it for the next adventure exams. So it's probably a good idea to just go get it now. Go to Lisbon, and we'll go get it from there. And now you see that ecological research is here. Actually, I don't think we're going to. Yeah, it's, a, it's an active skill, so I don't think we were going to need recognition. I think recognition is only used for geography. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's only, it might only be used for geography. I mean, that's why ecological research is a a uh, clickable action here. We, we would use this to find where the quest's uh, item is, or the discovery is. So, while we're sailing to Lisbon, let's see if we can figure this out. It says, we'll need this, and either learn the skill or have the item ready to go to archives. Oh, well, we've got to go to Lisbon anyways. Speak to the scholar in the archives in Lisbon. So, regardless, we need to go to Lisbon. Perfect. So yeah, that's where we're going to go. We're going to talk to the a scholar in the archives, and he will give us the next information we need. Yeah, so just yesterday as I was you know, trying to level up my adventure here by doing the quests, I, uh, I realized how slow this ship really is and how badly I really want to get the adventure exam done because after we complete the adventure exam, we're going to get our first um, ship 
and I believe it would be better than this in every way possible. Um, it definitely seems like it, like I can give you right now. I am going almost four knots. That's pretty bad by my standards. Um, the reason why I know this is because I'm, I'm using the GPO Navish uh, app that I downloaded. It's free, cheap, and easy. But it it is telling me I'm going to go on like three to four knots, and that's just dredgingly slow. And if we can get like even to six, just imagine the time that you're cutting down. That's double the speed, so you can easily get to uh, where you need to be. Oh, look, we got a ship race. See, these red things are like server-wide announcements. You got a ship race from December 3rd through the 9th. Talk to the port official in Venice, and the race is to Havana. So across the way so you'd you'd also have so this early on we wouldn't be able to participate because we don't have venice unlocked the port permit for venice or the port permit for the caribbean so we're not gonna be able to sail that but i'm gonna use my main later today and do this uh race you could sail it manually if you want to you could sail it with auto navigation it really doesn't matter if you just want to participate and don't really care just auto nav it if you really want to get the fastest speed that you possibly can and get the best reward you know then truly sail it directly. I suggest getting GVO Navish and uh, using your fastest ship if you got one and put yourself on a beeline to it and go right for Havana. Uh, the winner of the race gets like the top tier prize and just participating you get some even smaller consolation prize and usually they're pretty decent. I've gotten some really poor ones before where you're like really that's useless but hey participate you never know what you're gonna get plus I think you get some experience and some fame. So definitely participate if you can. All right, we're getting close. I like to check my challenge missions every so often to make sure we are getting close to the Papaya starter pack level 20. I already claimed level 10 and level 5, I believe. Gave me a few items. If you notice some things in my inventory different than last time, uh, it's because that's what they gave me. They gave me a lot of like battle stuff, like for plate plate armor and stuff for the ship. I just went and sold that again. I'm not trying to, you know, have the maximum protection for my ship right now. It's too early. All right, so let's go to I don't know where. Let's go to the commercial district first, because I'm pretty sure the adventurer guild is here, so I can get recognition just to have in my back pocket. And the archives is also right there. It's perfect. So go to the adventurer guild. Let's see what other skills that the adventurer GM also offers besides recognition. Biology and appraisal. Biology may be useful too again. I don't know that we're gonna need it right this minute. So we're just gonna get recognition. Oh, did I get a yep, I did. Oops, wrong button. Challenge mission. And oh look at that. Tow permits. Like I said, always good to have, and they just gave me ten. I used probably like two or three already today. So good. And I actually, I can't forget to claim my tow permits for the day. Just wherever you get them, be sure to at least get them. Um, uh, someone had told me you can get more from Sueda or Quaita, whatever you want to pronounce it as. It's better to get it from there because you'll get more stuff. You'll get more than 10 usually. Oh, I got a shipwreck Mac piece too. Look at that. Shipwreck Mac pieces, you should save. Um, they're worth something to people who like to do shipwrecks. Maybe you'll want to do them later. Save them and keep hold on to them because they will give you some cool loot and some experience if you do them. Alright, we talked to the scholar and got what we needed from him. Now we can look at our updated quest and find out where this is. Uh, this is one on uh, periodically investigating a certain marine creature that is in the seas in this area. Please talk with the port official in Pharaoh. So we need to go to Pharaoh now to find out the habitat of the creature. So it's probably not going to be far from Pharaoh in general. So let's get on to the port. Get my tow requests. I oh, know I just did that. Duh. See easily how quickly I forget that I already just got it. All right. The pharaoh is literally right here. So this adventure exam we can see is a little bit more detailed than the last quests because usually those last quests you just kind of like go and that's it. So here you actually don't have 
you know, just one step. You have several steps to participate in before you get all the information you need to do before you make your discovery. But that's why it's the exam. It's meant to teach you everything you've learned. Traveling, talking to the right people, and then having the right skills. Okay. If you have any other questions, again, feel please, please feel free to please leave them in the comments below. I have one uh, fellow who keeps on commenting to tell me information that I'm either getting wrong or, uh, you know, more information in general so that I'm not confusing any of you, and I really appreciate that he does. So, you know, I'm giving you the best information that I know. Again, there's so much information in this game that people know it better than me, but for the early on, some of this basic information I'm giving you is going to help you have a more efficient and more fun time playing. And the information that the, this other player is giving us in the comment section is way more accurate and way more detailed than what I'm giving. So please read the comments. He comments often so as to make sure that the information is the best for everybody, including myself, so that even when I'm playing this playthrough, I remember how to do it right. All right. I want to thank that guy personally for that, because I, I surely don't know everything. All right, so we talked to the port official, like I said. They inhabit the area around the coast between this city and Seville. They're quite docile and not dangerous. So look at that, really close. Because it's close, we're just going to go to port. Now, in order to do this, we can't be auto-sailing. We have to be directly uh, sailing ourselves. So we're going to set sail. And it said between here and Seville, so we're just going to start sailing towards Seville. I want to leave my skills available. I'm not going to bother with caution right now. I need to leave my ecological research skill open. And you can hit this and it'll attempt to use a skill and hopefully we'll discover it. That's it. And the only reason why I knew to use it here is because I've done the quest before, but it said between here and Seville. So you're going to sail back and forth between there and Seville uh, to eventually find it. And so we discovered it. Now you'll see it in our discoveries as a medium-sized creature, unreported, one discovered. And I don't know where to submit these quests that Kai to right now off the top of my head. I just know where to submit ports because early on that's what you <laughs> discover the most. Excuse me. Hiccup. Um, but if you're looking for that information, again, you just go to the... Uh, UnchartedWaters.Fandom.com slash wiki and you could search you know reporting discoveries and you'll find out where to just report medium sized creatures to alright so we are finished with this we can go to Sagers now and hand in the quest Okay, I need some vigor while I'm at it. So I'm going to stop there real quick. Hand it in. Congratulations, 30,000. I have a reward underneath the challenge mission. Obtain the graduation memento. Beginning adventure. And I says I required a boarding house, and if I require, if I remember correctly, the boarding house is my quarters. So maybe that's something we'll show you too. My adventure is now level ten, and I got five. Wow, that gave me five hundred adventure experience. Now, granted, remember I am in an adventurous uh, job right now, so that's particularly good. So let's go to our use item because now we have the graduation memento. We're gonna go ahead and use this. And I have. 29 out of 50 slots used, so this should give me quite a few items, I believe. No, two items. So we get a Adventurer's Guild card. This is like that endorsement I was telling you about before. This allows you to change Adventurer jobs. You need these if you want to do a different Adventurer's job. And then the Beginner Adventure Memento Ship Ticket. This is where it gets our first ship. Uh, we don't know what it is until we look at it, so I'll hit OK. I want to attain the items. I'm going to talk to him, see what jobs he has. Excavator, 
explorer. All these just matter on what you plan on doing with your adventure skill. You could be a on land servitor, or see this one's an archaeologist essentially. Surveyor gives me geography, procurement, provisions, rescue. This is one of the ones I suggest if you want to focus geography. Biology. This does ecology and biology. Again, marching is, is a skill that is useful on land. It curbs the fatigue rate of the bandit attack on land, slightly reduces damage in a sunken ship. Really, it's meant for when you're searching for uh, on land uh, ecological searches and biological searches. They, you don't get as much fatigue to your sailors. Fishermen, here you get sail handling, procurement, collection, biology as always, because you can always get discoveries while fishing and storage as well as an expert skill. So I remember I said these were favorite skills, you get like half the amount. I think expert skills are like a quarter of the amount, so you would really level your fishing up really fast with this. And a helms person. This one's geography again as well. I actually almost think that this one might be hmm, it's like almost the same. You just get the sail the sail handling bonus, but you also get steering, firefighting and repair skills as a favored. So the Helms person might just be better than the surveyor if you like those skills better. Here you got provisions and procurement, but honestly, these are such minor skills. I mean, procurement's still not bad, but provisions is, they're such minor skills, and rescue is not one of those things that you really need to, I think, grind early on. So steering helps you increase your turning speed and lessens damage from sea mines. Fire is always good to have if you're going to be cooking at sea so you can put out fires and repair to repair a ship. So if you're going to switch, switch to Helm's person. Right now, what are we again? I think we're just like the starting. We are an adventurer learner, and so our favorite skills are sail handling, serving, search, body language, which is really important to have when we're starting to talk to people in other places other than these languages. Which I may go ahead and start like forgetting these, other than Spanish, because that's my main one, obviously. Just so I can start practicing my body language. But just remember that in order to practice body language, you need to have vigor, because you will waste a lot of vigor just talking to people, even the barkeep. And if you don't have food, you can get stuck someplace with no vigor. So it's always good to keep these early on, until you get your body language up a little bit, because you will fail quite a few times trying to talk to people. So, I mean, it doesn't hurt to switch it up, but since I don't know if we should go ahead and grab another job at the moment, because I just don't know if we want to focus any one particular at the moment. Um, again, I'm very fond of geography, uh, and I don't I haven't had much geography skill time doing this, so I won't show you how to grind geography. That's probably another video for someone else to show you, because they've done it better than I have. Um, but this is good if you want to do geography personally. You still get sail handling, surveying, and I guess it, it really focuses it for that particular use. I, I just don't know what to do. I'm going to hold on to my current skill set right now. Anyways, so I know you're dying to see what the ship is, but I want to go to the... Uh -huh, no bank clerk, because now I have quarters. Quarters are the place where you could store extra goods. So I could store adventurers, guilds cards in here. I can't store trade goods here until I'm actually in my qu uh, quarters, which are going to be in Spain. And I could start, oh, 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 I could serve, store my parts and hardware here too, one at a time at this early on. And one of my land items here, reserve candle if I really wanted to. So, good to know. I just like to check these things to make sure. Not a high enough level on the rank. You may purchase rank one at the bank. Just look, clicking all these buttons, see if there's anything I can teach you about it. Alright, and uh, right now it doesn't seem so we're going to want to use this ship card. We have the space to claim the ship, so we'll go ahead and click the ship in the use item tab. Click OK, and we get our cruise caravel. And I believe the ship is better in most regards. It's got more vertical sail, more horizontal sail. It has a higher wave resistance, which means we can go out to sea a little bit further. 
and its hold I think is just roughly the same so we'll just go ahead and take this right now look at our ship information ship inventory so right now our current ship has 180 space and 6 cannons and a minimum of 22 to 25, <coughs> 20 sailors this one needs less sailors it has less hold but more sailing speed <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so we don't want I think we're going to want to uh, sacrifice some of our hold for the speed at the moment just because it's, it's really drudgingly bad I need to get more durability out of this too so if you want to change ships remember we've got to go speak to the shipyard master or to the port shipyard master or the port will um, allow you to change and we have a new ship and there's this guy has a lot of other tabs here custom ship building let's see can I refit the ship ship right should let me refit it I'm gonna reship refit the memorial cruise caravel and what this allows me to do it allows me to change the sail uh, configuration for more horizontal sails or less vertical sails I don't know what's really better per se um, probably having more vertical sails is more important this early on so that's what we're gonna focus remember I want to change my ship parts so I have to do that from the ship inventory tab oops I'm sorry ship parts tab and look we have three slots for uh, sails now so this means our ships just gonna be in general be better I'm just gonna not bother with the cannons at the moment because I think that slows down your ship so I'm just gonna put those on I'm gonna buy more sails so I got something that gives me more vertical and more horizontal so I'm just gonna, gonna kinda keep, kinda keep doing that for royal say sail Just keep applying them. Now our ship should have even higher sails. Yep. So our ship should be faster now. Now if you notice here, now it has a skill. That's a random thing depending on which how the ship comes when you get it uh, from the uh, reward. But it requires a management skill of 6 and an arm skill of 6 and we should get automated detection of sea mines during battle. Don't know how really important that is. Uh, this early in the stage, you can uh, do some custom ship building where you could, I believe, change that. I mean, I can't do it obviously now because I don't have the skills for it. I need to have like a minimum ship building uh, skill of like one, but ship building will you can also group with somebody who's got ship building. And you can uh, really uh, change that up, I believe. Are we still working on our cooking skill too? I just want to get to cooking level... I think I said three. So I can do pigs. Yeah, level three. I should be in a cooking skill if I really want to get the best um, favorite, you know, favorite skills as I said is probably the best, but... Alright, so there you go. We have that. What else did I say I was going to do? I've already since forgotten. Did the quest. I got the item. Got the uh, reward. So, really, you're just going to keep doing this. Um, you don't want to miss out on the opportunities of doing these quests. Okay, here is an example of the final exam for the Intermediate Adventurer course. We already have it because we have a high enough fame. We need Archaeology 1 if we want to complete this. So, this is why I said I want to leave some skill slots open in case we need to do this for the exams of the next one. I think there's some other quests. So, it looks like we're going to take this one. I'm going to show you the intermediate exam now. We got lucky that we have enough fame that we could do that. Because sometimes you have to continue to grind, and we got lucky that you don't. I believe there's a Seville head archaeology. Or was it Lisbon? Archaeology. Seville. So, let's also find out where we need to go for this quest. 
Seville's Guildmaster. Perfect. That's where I need to go to even learn uh, the actual archaeology skill. They're very particular about where you go for this, so it doesn't hurt to... <clears throat> Um, go there and do the jobs because they usually organize these in ways. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart there. I couldn't think of what I was thinking of. Got distracted. But they organize these quests so that they make a lot of sense for what you need to do. Auto nav it because I'm lazy. Hopefully, now we'll see a faster sailing speed here. And our vigor's been going up as we go, I believe, with this, like the cap. I've been using a lot of food lately because, again, it it just uses so much of your vigor to do these different things. It just uses up so much. Like, that's all of it. I need to eat food. And if you're trying to do this over and over again, you're going to spend a lot of money. Which is why I can't wait to get to pigs, because it'll be so much more appropriate you can make money pretty well for the early stages with the pigs. Alright, I can't do pigs anymore. I mean, flour anymore because I have filled my cargo space. Really missing that extra cargo space about now. So we have 14 levels so far. I believe when we reach a total of, uh, level of 20? 20, 20? I can get an 8? I'm, I'm not sure. But once you get an aid you can uh, get some bonuses to some of your skills and when they reach level, trust of level 50 you can give them a ship and expand your cargo even further on my main I'm like one level away from having my second one level of trust away from having my second aid so it's really important to get that as early as possible for a lot of people because you want that extra cargo space again I could have like sat there in Seville and bought and sold all of my uh, money's worth of uh, trade goods from East Asia or uh, Southeast Asia and I could have gotten a lot of experience and finally like got it all just so that I could get an aid as soon as possible but again I'm not trying to cheat the system here the only cheating of the system I've done was give myself a little cash so that I could at least show you stuff without having to grind for money <clears throat> alright looks like we're going to be getting back to Seville trip already seemed a little shorter in our caravel. It's nice to have a nice ship too. It's a cute little ship. Oh, I've been summoned by the royal castle and this probably has a lot to do with my fame. So first let's just get the adventure guild stuff while I'm here and I don't forget. Haha, <laughs> Uranus. Uranus, if you're speaking Latin or Roman, Italian. Uranus. Adventurers Guild. Talk to him. Got the information we needed. Let's get. Oh, what did I say? The quest didn't say to go to Seville's adventure guy. Who did it say? Uh, gotta read these quests, man. Gotta read these quests. Oh no. Where did it say to get the skill? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for archaeology. Duke Farness. I, I read Adventure GM when I read Seville. I'm an idiot. It's okay. I still need to talk to the GM. And we need to talk to Duke Farness to get our archaeology. I knew I'd recently seen it. And then we need to go to the Royal Castle because I think we're going to get a port permit upgrade. Every time you get like a bunch of fame, you get court ranks and uh, port permits. You gotta get a lot of fame in order to get all the permits. You gotta get all the fame to get a lot of the, the titles. So it's good to, or court ranks, I should say. So it's good to continue, you know, always visit the royal castle that they stay to, because you will forget, and you will be like, "What's holding me back?" And it's because you haven't seen the royal castle. Duke Furness. Acquire skill. Archaeology. I don't know if they're going to keep archaeology. We just probably need it for this quest. And after it, you know, we might feel bad having invested some time into the archaeology quest and then have to forget the skill later. We'll hold on to it until we realize we do or don't need it. 
for future quests. This is the intermediate exam though, so it requires it. At least the one that we got, there's probably several options. One might be with geography, one could be ecology, one could be biology, skill, whichever, but this one's requiring archaeology at the moment. Alrighty. Guard will give us... You're going to need the North Seaport Permit. Ta-da! So now we can go to like England and Scandinavia and Amsterdam and Northern France. So perfect. Cool. Got what we needed from him. Now let's figure out where to go for this quest. Ooh, I got a challenge mission thing. Oh, more tow permits. Sweet. Alright, let's find out where we need to go for this quest. Five good emperors. Please investigate the regards of the location of the marble sculpture. One of the five good emperors, Emperor Hared, and the skull city is very knowledgeable in this term of uh, ancient Rome, so it might be good idea to talk with him. So we have to go to Rome? So, if it doesn't say where to go, because if it doesn't seem to say here, five good emperors, Emperor H Hadrian, scholar in this city, they mean the city that I'm currently in? That makes sense. I mean, I spoke to the uh, adventurer guild here, and I was just nearby, so it would make sense to talk to the scholar here. If you don't know, you hit that button in the top right, quest hint, and it'll give you a blue text in your text box here to show you where to go. Just for the sake of being confirmed. Yep, Seville Scholar. So, there you go. Little hint. It doesn't always show you that. Um, I think the Seville, Seville Sager's uh, quests will tell you that, but not all the quests will that you get from all the people. All right, now we need to talk to the scholar in Danoa. So we got a sail ahead of us. Jeez, I'm sorry, everybody. You're on for a long trip, but you gotta know how to do it. You gotta know. Which reminds me, since we're in for a long trip, let's get some more vigor. I'm not gonna use my food because I'm running out of it. This is really why I want to level up the food things, because I need to start making food for myself. I don't want to keep buying it. And not everybody sells it. It's not, like, a lot. I mean, you could ask somebody, they might just give it to you. Well, look, we have our quest in here to do, if we wanted to. I might just start it, just because. Drink to your heart's content, he says. Eduardo. Yeah, here we go. I'm just going to click through this. I just want to advance it just a little bit. We're here. Blah, 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 blah. Augustine, what do you got to say? Blah, 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 blah. Dot, dot, dot. Eduardo, you got more to say? No? Balthazar? Nobody has anything to say. Okay, everybody seems to be done talking. Just going to double check. Augustine again. Man, you like to talk a lot. Of I guess he wanted me to say, like, what? So, if it doesn't work, just click the right thing. <sighs> My vigor's recovered. Wonderful. I spent all that money. Alright, they're gone. They're gone. Now we can leave. Okay, port. Uh, more of this stuff. It, this stuff gets annoying. The market keeper is looking for me. Wonderful. Again, this is all part of the event quests history line for the Spanish quest line. He wants me to go to Marseille. I usually stop in the Lago de Resupply. If you leave now, you should be able to find my customer there. So, Malaga, he wants me to go to. Sure. I've got no 
nothing else to do, like, you know, not like I'm trying to graduate school or anything. Luckily, that's on the way. Make sure we're topped off on food. And we'll go to Malaga. It's right next door. And I need to get to Genoa. I'm not gonna travel back just because the quest says so. I'm on the way. Might as well go that way. See, I notice how like the autopathing has me sail out this way. It's the strangest thing. I know I need to go that way, but autopathing will take you out of the way just to get you on the path of. It's almost like it's like getting me on the the main road to go there. It's very strange. It's gonna have me turn in a minute. Notice how that guy sw swung out too. That's my lot. That's just how you auto nav from places. It just takes you very strange pathways. But whatever. Hopefully we'll be faster than we used to. I'm looking at the um, the knots on our sailing. We're right around three knots right now. That's where we were with the rowing ship, the galliot before. 3.6, that's a new high. 4, that's, that's a new high. 4.2, 4.8. Four point six. So maybe we're topping at around four to sit four four to five. Oh we just hit five knots. Five point four knots. So we doubled it. And that's that's kinda like my goal. I, like I knew that this was gonna speed up our ship sailing speed if we got the better ship. So we're almost at what oh, we just hit six knots. It's pretty fast right around this spot. Because we're in the straight 6.25 knots. Perfect. So there you go, guys. Get the better ships the moment you can. Because you will increase your ship speed by a lot. The next, I believe, from this quest, we are going to get the sloop, the adventure sloop. And that'll probably be like our main ship for a while until we finish the exam for the advanced because then we'll get the Sambuk and the Sambuk, kind of like this ship a little bit, is just a really good ship for all around things if you're doing some trading as well as adventuring. It's fast, it has a decent amount of cargo, enough cannons to defend you if you need to. So definitely one of the better ships to have early on. So. Once we get the adventure sloop, I think we'll be set for a good while. Probably get our sailing speed closer to seven or even eight knots in some cases with the sloop. Okay, we made it to Malaga. If you're looking for a resupply in a hurry, you might be able to catch up with him. Hey, is that smoke I see in the east? Wonder what's burning. Ugh. It's probably at sea somewhere because he's not here. Yeah, event quests are annoying. Very annoying. Just because this one might still have me. Yeah, there's stuff there. We're going to stop in and talk to him along the way. It's hay ridden. I hope we don't have to go to battle because we are not ready for battle. Sure. Tell Lord Balthazar who is in the tavern at Palma in Malarca. I really don't want to go to Palma, but I guess that's where we're going to go because, again, it's on the way. It's pretty much straight east of here, so it is what it is. Again, it's along the way. You guys get to see supports as we do this. Again, it's important to do these quests, but, you know, I don't go out of my way to do them until it's time to go out of my way. This isn't really out of my way. I mean, yeah, sure, I could have been sailing straight to Genoa and boring you to death with the path, but here we have something to do along the way. 
So we are we are gonna go to Palma because it's literally in the direction of Genoa or Genoa, whatever you like to call it. I like to say Genoa. Baloney, Bologna, who cares? There's the islands we're headed for. Just want to stay to the left of them. Oh, I never sold my my wheats. But I have space now because I used some of my cargo here. So let's go ahead and cook it up. Done. Six and a half knots. Almost seven knots. I'm going to have to stop in the tavern to get some vigor. Almost halfway to level four, level three cooking. Alright, so there's Palma. I have to stop in the tavern anyways because I believe that's where I'm going to find a lot of the adventure quest stuff, um, adventure quest, the event quest for Spain happens in this general area of like Palma, Valencia, Barcelona, and Northern Africa. So it's it's just good to have uh, a good knowledge of this area and get used to sailing to Palma a lot because you will. <coughs> Surveying's going up. That's good. It means we'll use less vigor because now it'll stay active longer. Let's go to the tavern. Because that's where the guy said he would be. Plus I need some vigor to continue the sail trip to Genoa. Should see Balthazar in here. Yep. Skipping through all this. Okay, Augustine. Slam the door, why don't you? Alright, that seems to be done for now. Let me just stock up on the vigor and go talk to the boys in the back. <gasps> Have one for the boys. Drink up. Nope, don't need to talk to Eduardo. Talk to Balthazar, probably. Okay. Talk about the pirate attack. It could just then don't say anything, but I don't know if it would have mattered. If it does matter, just go back and start the story again and do it all over. What are they talking about? Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. I'm rushing out of here. Augustine is still drinking. It's going to be hard for us to find Hadrian on our own. Inform the captain who is on patrol off the coast of Malaga. Sure. Again, it, I'm not going back to Malaga. We just came from there. I'm going to get my sailors treated too so that I don't have any fatigue. Alright. Now, I don't care whether or not... We need to go back. If we need to go back to Malaga, we're not going to bother. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Adding new characters. I have no idea what's happening. I'm gonna auto. I'm not gonna auto sell this just in case they do stop me at sea. No, I don't see anybody within eyesight, so we're just gonna ignore it. Oops, I used the wrong skill. If you want to cancel skill, click it. This should put me relatively right on the path to 
Genoa. I think it literally pointed me right at Genoa. That's actually right between Genoa and Calvi. Oh, I didn't get one of the ports that I know I could have gotten. I could have gotten Cagliari earlier on my map. Cagliari is on the bottom of this island here. I didn't get it because I was port hopping a lot of the other ones on the northern end of the Mediterranean. So we'll do a southern end port hop one of these days where I'll get Algiers, Tunis. Algiers is about here. Tunis is there. Again, having the GVO Navish helps. When I did it, I didn't have the GVO Navish. Hello. Let's talk to people in chat. Let them know that I'm doing a Let's Play. Say hello for the recording. <laughs> All right. Should make relatively quick work now with this faster ship. They put you in a school chat when you are this low level. Um, you could be in regular world chat if you wanted to. You just, you know, it says so here that you're in all, but we're in school here, so you can just go to world if you really wanted to. And it'll show you what's happening in the world chat. So this is that guy I was talking in school chat. I just took a look at that. I don't believe we're in a... Yep, and look at that. Nemesis says, I haven't, I haven't a clue of what I'm doing. <laughs> this is why I'm making this video. That is why I am making this Let's Play series. Search me up on YouTube. Chuck Thunder. I'm currently in the process of doing the exams for the tutorial slash school quests line. Hopefully he learns quite a lot from these videos because honestly, if he can get everything he needs, we have a new guy that'll learn and stay with the game. If you are super fresh, I really suggest following along with your character with mine. really do I think that you know what got me into this game was having people help me and literally tow me around from place to place but it shouldn't take that to get you into this game it should really just be like that sense of accomplishment if you complete the stuff on your own and just having someone guide you with words or video is great having someone tow you around is fast but it's not the most independent way of doing it so that's why I wanted to really make this let's play it says well I can't start the school for some reason yeah, so he thinks the school's probably in his own city. The real school is in Sagers, a city between Lisbon and Seville. I can tell him what nationality are you? Because if he's like Spanish or or Portuguese, oops, wrong way. He said he started the course instructor in Sagers, but can't in Seville.
he thinks he needs to do stuff. All of your quest stuff is started in Sager's and the quests will take you all over the Mediterranean. Sometimes to Seville, where you will need to talk to the port guide at the harbor or GM at one of the guilds. And that's kind of the thing. Talking to people is like where you go. Like, who do I go to? Where do I talk with? Where do I find this stuff? Like, that's really the important part. You just don't know. You really just don't know half the time. And you just don't realize the quest is telling you to do it. And that's why someone like me is really trying to show you how to do this. Trust me, it'll go much faster. Eventually, as you start figuring it out on your own. So what do you need to go to the scholar here, we said? Yes. So find the scholar right across. Get right there. What are you gonna tell me? Looking in my book collection. So click browse books and we're doing archaeology so that's why it's highlighted plus that's the skill we have learned we don't have any of these other skills so it's going to be archaeology based and we're going to browse the books just once and that's all it's going to take to do the quest um, and after that extol the great deeds of the empire upon completing the statue the empire once inspected Genoa gathered information we go back to the quest Exit the town through the gate into the outskirts and use the search skill around the ruins in the northwest to discover it. Alright, good. So we're going to see some land discoveries. Let's stop back at the tavern. And then the gatekeeper is up here. Um, we're going to go out the gates of Genoa and there should be some spot. If you are still lost feel free to reach out to me in game when I'm on what will just say in game I like to become friends with people just so I can help them out Nemesis is his name so let's go ahead and add him as a friend in case you guys are curious how to do this go to friends list go to friend request and type in this name nem e -sis. sending a friend request hopefully he accepts Boom. he's got a lot of battle experience which means he's doing battle stuff which which uh, are you focusing at the moment maritime adventure or trade because that's kind of like the one thing I haven't done any of the other kinds of quests right now like that's all I've been focusing on and the reason why is because I feel like it's really important to start that early because you do a lot of adventuring early on
yeah, I, a lot of the stuff still applies the same though, even though I'm not doing maritime quests at the moment. Uh, a lot of it still is roughly the same. It's still coming down to going to the correct places, getting the correct information, and then going to the right spots to do the battles. Uh, I do remember some of the information about the, the quests, so hopefully when this guy does do it, um, and he brings me with questions, I could tell him where to go. Um, and we can do that, you know, I can maybe even do it together if I finish the adventure quests um, fast enough. I, I mean, I'm only doing the, the intermediate adventures quest right now because I could. It might be good to then go to Maritime next because you might want a good Maritime ship, you know. So it's not a big deal, not not bad to um, to do a bun about bouncing back and forth. So, oh, he says he played ages ago but can't remember the life of me how to do the school. Yeah, the school completely changed. The thing is, it's no longer in your home city. The school used to be in your city. Alright. Surveying. That opens up a map. Okay. Surveying brings you up the area in which that you just walked into, and out here you'll find people to battle and such. Uh, hopefully we don't run into anybody. We can avoid it if we have to. Um, but this is the where we need to be for now. The quest says the outskirts uh, of town, exit the town, use a skill around the ruins to the northwest to discover it. So north is up, and west is the left. So the ruins to the northwest is here, and we are here. So we don't we need to walk around here and go to these ruins right here, I believe. Unless it's these, but I'm pretty sure it's these. So if you look at the map as we click across, a little green arrow will be moving, so we know we're moving in the right direction. From what I understand about the school, the quests are still the same, or close to the same as they used to be, um, because they wanted to maintain some of that same feeling that they had when you played the game before, but instead of it being in your own city and having all these different quests like specific to the area you're in, they just kind of like chose the most obvious ones for the uh, Mediterranean area and localize it to Sagers. So it just really just comes down to, you know, really maintaining your simplification of everything. And that's why I think they did it, just to keep it all in one location. And as you guys see, I'm coming across people here. Um, if I get stuck in a battle with them, I could fight them, but I really don't want to. So I'm just doing my best to avoid. And if you do happen to end up fighting them, you could just walk right out of the battle. those guys are but anyways the destination is so this is the mark you were searching for the destination is east and 20 meters north to the 20 meters so I don't know that I need to change location but I'm just gonna try to do the search skill here or yeah search this should be the archaeological dig boom tame common grass Okay, so this must not be the spot. I said 20 meters north and 20 meters to the east. So, according to this, could that be here? Yep, so I just went up a little bit and uh, to the right a little bit. You know, just used the map to figure out where north and east was and found the spot. So I got the Great Ruler's Orb and a Discovery Card. I've never seen this one before because I've never done this quest, honestly. 
It gives leadership plus one. Cool. Don't know if it's worth anything, but we got it. And we got the uh, adventure line quest. So we finish the quest, exit the town. Let's do this. Now we just need to get ourselves back. Okay. And there you go, guys. We've done the intermediate quest. Each one is slightly different, um, but this one uh, I'm showing because it was the easiest to, to get, and I learned something along the way myself because I've never done the archaeological one. I've done other ones that are done at sea, so good thing we did it. And now we just got to sail back to uh, Sager's to hand it in. But I'm not going to bother showing you guys that. Um, I think you guys know what to do from this point forward. It, you'll get another... Uh, reward with another ship and I suggest using that ship if you can because that ship will be significantly better than uh, what we're currently using personally that's my personal feeling the adventurer sloop is amazing and be sure to have the inventory space that's the only thing I could say because if you don't have the inventory space in your ships or in your actual inventory you may not be able to claim the ship so don't go buying you know NPC ships just right you know at the wazoo because you don't need to spend the money. You get lots from them by doing these quests. Ships are so much better this way anyways. Alright everybody, thanks for checking in. Like I said, be sure to like and subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think, tell me what I need to improve on, what information you might have. Oop, getting into battle. Let's do it. Surprise battle! It might win. Seems like we're doing okay. I didn't have any of my battle stuff equipped for the battle. Which I'll show you how to do that before I leave. We're gonna kill him. Got him. Forte points for my longsword is increased. And we got some parsley somehow. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, Alright, so real quick. Go to equipment. And see land battle use items. If you have any land battle items, put them in there don't know if this will do anything. This is sorcery. I would guess I have to equip it. But, whatever. Anyways, everyone, you just saw how to do a battle, and you learned something along the ways. Simple. All you have to do is just stand there and let them hit you. And you hit them back. Uh, you might have to move around the field a little bit and put on some different equipment. But, you know, it's not the most uh, high-tech battle system. But there again, everybody, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> Wasn't trying to do that. Thank you again for stopping in. Uh, like I said, like and subscribe. Leave comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you what I need to do better. And uh, what else I could potentially do in the next videos. Uh, everyone, thank you again. Have a good night. Later.